Lindsay was asking about, about special memories. I'm just wondering how you reflect on the UEFA Cup final of, of 2003, Martin. Is that a real bittersweet? Because it was such a great campaign, wasn't it? Getting all the way to the final. Um, and then it was agonising the, the way it all ended. Oh, it's terrible. <clears throat> uh, Rob, I, I think about it to, um, only about three times a day. And it <laughs> happened in 2003. Um, yeah, it, it was. It was the, obviously the journey that was there that, you know, we a couple of times um, we attempted to stand up for Scottish football, you know, playing Blackburn Rovers with Graham in charge, Graham Souness, mm-hmm. and, um, and Blackburn being very strong at the time, you know, they were about fifth or sixth in the, in the Premier League. And to win down at Ewood Park and then follow up in a quarter final to beat uh, to beat Liverpool again. You always felt as if you know. Listen, don't get me wrong. Selfishly, we were in it for ourselves to win, but you felt as if it was a it was good for the SPL that we were strong. And then Rangers go and do it some years later. But to go to the final, yeah, and obviously Porto were very strong. The same side, virtually the same side, wins the Champions League the following year. And I don't know. Obviously, a lot of play acting going on. Um, they scored a goal each time they scored a goal they went back to Porto to celebrate and um, took ages and the big, big boy the goalkeeper Victor Bahia goes down about six minutes to go lies down feeling just about every part of his body for an injury that didn't wasn't there and they, yeah uh, do I feel bad about it? not really no like like hell <laughs> uh, yeah I feel terrible it's, yeah. it's, it's and it's it's interesting, you know, a lot of a lot of Celtic fans come up and say, you know, the trip and the whole the whole experience and seventy five thousand descending upon uh, Seville for the couple of days, brilliant. But uh, yeah, but I get back to the point. Why did I start this thing? You have to win, yeah. and to me, that's we didn't win, and uh, and that was that, and that will be. So you're talking about you're talking about um, yeah, biggest regret probably in my in my football time that we didn't win the game. Um, we had a really good side. We could have won the game, and um, and I was just I, I thought it was a lot of play acting going on. But that's the nature of the game. And if we had been leading three two, a couple of minutes to go, I'd said to Rob Douglas, "Go down, you know, and we'll send on about five medics." Um, I probably would have done the same <laughs> thing, you know. So we lost the game to a very very good Porto side, but it's still a big regret. Yeah. Was that the first time you'd come across Mourinho? Yeah, it was. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, so no. Uh, and if the world ended tomorrow, um, Mourinho will go down as one of the great managers, and, yeah. and and deservedly so for what he's done in the and done in the game. So I've got the utmost regard for him as a manager. Um, but I and Porto didn't need to play act because they had great players playing in their side. You know, Deco goes on a couple of years later and goes and plays for Barcelona. Oh. Chelsea sides like this here. So they had a really big centre half goes to Chelsea. They had a really great side, and but we had a really good side, and um, and um, we could have we could have won the game. Uh, Baldy gets sent off in in, uh, in extra time, and uh, I just yeah. Listen, I could go on for um, well, I have gone on for too long. <laughs> you mentioned so. you mentioned the Blackburn game, and that was the famous men against boys. Graham Souness quote, wasn't it? Oh, I've 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 spoken to Graham a number of times. They got there, and he claims it was Flitcroft, and that, and it was Flitcroft. I think came out and said it, but he Flitcroft wouldn't have had uh, Flitcroft wouldn't have said that without Graham telling him, you know. And and in fairness, I understood what they were saying because Blackburn played really well at Celtic Park. I know we won the game late on in the match, but they were they were excellent the mm-hmm. day. And they would have been. They would have gone to that second game at Ewood Park, full of confidence that they could turn it round and win. But we were, we were brilliant on the evening. But, but, um, by the way, what a Blackburn team that was! Was it like Damien Absolutely. Duff, and Damien York Duff, and, yeah, and Cole, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Brad Friedel? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what, what a team! Like yeah, a Blackburn team that so, everybody yeah, yeah. talks about yeah. Liverpool. Got, but the mm-hmm. Blackburn yeah, Rovers yeah, team was an yeah. outstanding it was, team. You're yeah. dead right, man. You know it was. So, um, but uh, yeah, it, the the run was fantastic, and I think that's what. Um, I think that's what the supporters um, felt like. But yeah, major disappointment not to go on and, and win. And that's, you know, that's, you have to do. You have to go and uh, you have to win. So there's no point in me coming in here pontificating, shouting, you have to win, you have to win, and then saying something differently. But no, you have to win.